Now, in terms of you know how you train now, where you're at, what do you do to currently train for in practice with all of the work that you do? Right now, I mostly train as we speak, so to speak. So in my penetration testing projects and in the bug bounty hunting that I'm doing as a uh, security researcher, it often is that I encounter situations when I would have to write stuff myself. That's when I take the advantage of actually practice my, my uh, Python and my Bash skills. I've recently started learning Bash, and I would say that. Bash also gives you superpowers such as Python. Uh, so that's how I currently learn. And it often is that I crave challenges. So I do go on edabit.com and I actually do Python challenges. They, they have very good categorization of challenges in terms of you want to do more algorithmic stuff, you want to do more math stuff, you want to do more... Um, a syntax or a string stuff you want to uh, learn. I mean, they have probably at least 1,200 Python challenges categorized on different levels of difficulty. So from the, from, from the very first beginner to uh, super advanced. Definitely check out that platform. I also use it myself. I haven't been using it in the past couple of we weeks because... Uh, I've mostly, I've mostly been coding for the stuff that I'm working at, but uh, I often do live videos on YouTube when I actually go on at a bit and solve some challenges. If you want to see me, how I uh, embarrass myself in front of the camera with uh, basic stuff in Python, you can watch one of the lives that I did on edabit.com. Fellas, check out my Python basics course to learn the fundamentals of Python you need in cybersecurity. There's a discount link in the description.